Now that I'm on the introduction and story page, I'm going to start designing this page and I'm going to add a template to this page and this time I'm going to use template 2 which if you recall has both the banner as well as background graphics and some buttons. And as this is the introduction page I want to include some text about this simulation so I'll just end up using a text box for that and because my intro um, has more text than I can type um, quickly and efficiently, I've just pasted the text into my um, clipboard and I'm going to paste it here. And I do want to format it though, so that um, it's large enough for people to see without struggling. Um, and I also like to add um, uh, some padding around it. I usually use six for the padding. So I'm going to resize it so it fits everything nicely. And I'd also like to add a background color. And I'm going to use a little trick here for the background color where um, I used it earlier for the logo and I'm going to use it again um, to get my background color to match with the other color schemes that are in or on the page. I'm going to use a, the screen color option and I'm going to scroll over some of these mice and see if I can find a color. Um, that would work for background, and I think that looks pretty good. Now I have my introduction and um, one instruction for the end user. In addition to having an introduction to the simulation on this page, I also want to have a button that will take the end user into a story, um, which will be an explanation of the model that is beneath this interface. And we would do that using an action button. So I'm going to add another action button below this. However, because building a story is not going to be part of this tutorial, I'm going to move on to the next page. And in another tutorial, I will show you how to make a story.